every real cowboy like myself knows how lonely it is out on the open range, which is why I listen to the Cowboy Boys Podcast. With best contractually obligated friends, Shane Smith and Mac Arthur, the Cowboy Boys will comfort your soul better than any disease-ridden saloon gal ever could. Cowboy Boys. There's some horrors in this house. There's some horrors in this house. There's some horrors in this house. I said certified freak. House. Some Seven days a week. Wet ass P word. Make that pullout game weak. Yeah. 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 You effin' with some wet ass P word. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass P word. Give me everything you've got for this wet ass P word. Beat it up, N word. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top if I wanna ride. I do a kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This P word is wet, come take a dive. It continues uh, along these lines. Uh, and it gets significantly, significantly more vulgar. Like, oh, a lot more. <laughs> oh, wet, wet ass P word. Yeah, wet ass P word, the hottest single drop in this summer. Oh my God, Ben Shapiro, Ben Shard Peepu. Oh, do you think? What do you think the deal is with him and his wife? Because he legitimately said his wife doesn't get wet. Do you think he it was just like a mistake? Did he really say yes, that? He did. He did. He was like, she doesn't get that wet. But here's the thing. No, I don't know. <laughs> <That's>, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna just defend ex- it and be like, some women don't get super wet. But I was like, no, everyone gets it like. Sometimes you got to start him off with a little lube, but eventually, <laughs> like he exposed himself. Yeah, it's rough. I haven't used lube in like I don't even know years. Well, that's because you are fucking Cardi B's with her waps. <laughs> that's true. I wouldn't fuck a girl unless uh, she had a wap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what the controversy is because it's not even like that dirty of a song. No, it's not. What is the? What is that? My neck, my back, lick my pussy, and that's such a who sings that one? I don't know, but that's I'm such with a you. anthem from R when we were. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where where was everyone that's, on that? That's Kia. Um, she was fucking going hard in the paint before anyone. I just think that a bunch of famous people were just like stoked on this, talking about it, and so then also we live in the age where conservatives don't. Um, they have no left politics to make fun of so they have to talk about this shit no i think they've always i think it comes up every few years there's like some music like that was whole that was like um what's reagan's wife she's the reason we put parental advisory stickers on cds and yeah stuff. yeah i guess and they were against violent video games for a while Yeah, no it's always conservatives being like this is too much for kids but be- I, i'm like hey if this offends you you gotta check out what's on the internet. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> like, you, I've got some shit for you. <laughs> we gotta shut this internet shit down. <laughs> this is this is this is weak. Yeah, dude, it oh. is weak. Do you want to read the lyrics and break them down? I don't want to break them down. Ben Shapiro style. No whores in this house. What do you feel? How do you feel about a girl you're dating calling herself a whore? As long as she's in my house, I'm not. I'm, not like, <laughs> I'm with you. If she's in my enemy's house. If she's uh, <laughs> <laughs> just be a whore in my house, please don't yeah. be a whore in the guy down the street's house. Exactly. Uh, she's certified freak seven days a week. That's pretty cool. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I thought that's too high of a standard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, what about a certified freak five days a week? Dude, I'll settle for two days a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just yeah. The, if you're a freak on the weekends, that's all I need. <laughs> dude, I'm with you. Have any other concert like right wing people gone in on this, like Rush Limbaugh or something? Like these women, <laughs> <laughs> no, are <laughs> certified freaks. Where are they getting these certifications? <laughs> Who's where? <laughs> Did you go to online school to get certified? What is uh? What's my what's my boy Jordan Peterson? He's <laughs> he's dead. He's just in a <laughs> hospital bed. <Boo. laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he he told me he has coronavirus. Yeah, he has coronavirus in Serbia. No. Oh, a, pu- a wet ass pussy. How <laughs> How wet would a pussy need to be to be certified as a freaky uh the the very nature of the question. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking too. 
<laughs> he's too autistic to i wish i could do a ben shapiro um the <laughs> yeah, just to just talk fast. Yeah. The thing is, I don't... If you're going to talk about wet ass pussy... No, well, well, P-word. Is, P-word. Oh, yeah, and he can't wet, say... I don't think he says ass, does he? Yeah, I think he might say ass. Dude, a he's wet a, ass P-word. The thing, asses aren't wet. So, if a P-word is being compared to an ass, and an ass does not scientifically get wet, P-words don't get wet. Uh, do you think he gets a little a little hard when he says ass? Like yeah. he's like, oh, I'm, I'm getting away with it, <laughs> dude. He definitely is. The Bible swears. Wet ass pussy make that pull out game weak. That's your line right there. It's for you. Just when a girl's like, no, she starts sex, being like, no, we can't, and then during, she's like, I want you to dump inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. my pull out game is I. Cardi B is not seeing my pull out game. <laughs> <laughs> I get pull out of her. Would I choose not to? Probably. <laughs> but I'm saying I have free will. <laughs> I, I choose my own path. You are not influencing whether I stay in or out. That is my choice. <laughs> Dude, my pullout game is so fucking strong. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not about it. I don't have a kid. I'm 30 years old. <laughs> I forgot. How, am I 31? Yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, wait. I yes. can't remember. Yeah, no, you are. Because I'm, I'm going to be 34 soon. Jesus. Um, My pullout game is undefeated. <laughs> yeah, same, dude. I used to pull out with a condom on. That's where I was at. Yeah, you fucking with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bu- bu- bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. That line is a gangster. Give me everything you got for this wet ass pussy. So we're all good. Beat it up. <laughs> Catch a charge. That seems a little problematic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. Extra large and extra hard. Would you settle for medium, small to medium and <laughs> extra hard? Like, Where's Cardi B from? Is she from the Bronx? Yeah. Well, that's just, yeah, catch a charge. She wants you to... <laughs> yeah. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. That is fun. Hop on top. I want to ride. I do a Kegel while it's inside. Dude, not enough girls know that's, about that move. That's the best line. That's a really good move. Cardi's crushing it, dude. You think she has a yoni egg? What's that? That's like a What's stone the... you put in your pussy, and then you hold it in all day so that your pussy gets strong. Like Benoit balls? Yeah, yeah. Um, doesn't Gwyneth Paltrow have like a, a series of those? I don't know. Doesn't she have like some scented... Yoni eggs. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> that are like filled with like um, I don't know what, what would be a healing smell, dude. I'm <laughs> She'd probably put like lavender. No, that's too basic for Gwyneth. She'd put something just like what the fuck, like mustard seeds. <laughs> Jesus, imagine it heals you. <laughs> imagine going down on a girl and you come up and then you're spitting out gravel. Just like what the fuck is this? You got yeah. rocks up in your pussy. You look like a display at a museum. You know those museums how they sell like loose rocks? That's why does your pussy look like a display at a museum? It's got rocks in it. You know what my one of my favorite songs is? That that Peaches song. <laughs> oh yeah. Sucking on my titties like, like you, you want wanna me. be calling me all the time. That's a good one too. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This w- <laughs> dude also great. Those two lines together. Holy this song is not that offensive. No, it's mostly. I think that what happened was conservatives watched it and they're like, "This is unacceptable." I I only fuck my wife, and you make me want to fuck you. Uh, this pussy is wet. Come take a dive. Tie me up like I'm surprised. Let's role play. I'll wear a disguise. What have you ever had a girl role play for you? Nope. What if she was gonna wear a disguise and you were gonna fuck her? What would you want her to wear? Uh, I'd probably want her to be like. So I guess it's a fantasy, right? It can be anything. Yeah, it can be anything. I'd I'd want to do a burglar. She's breaking. <laughs> she's a lady. She's a lady burglar breaking in to steal my seed. No, I'm a virgin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I do like that. Um. Let's roll. Yeah, I want you to park that Big Mac truck right in this little garage. I've got a Toyota at best. Make it cream. Make me scream out in public. Make a scene. What do you think about if some girl was trying to fuck you in like a public place? That's illegal. Oh my god, you're such a baby. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't say whether I was for it or against it. I said it was illegal. Okay, follow up. Would you? And not like on the bench in front of everyone at the park, like I've seen. But I'm talking about like there has to be 
people within the vicinity or what's the point? Well, people are in the vicinity, <laughs> but they can't see you, you know? There's a difference between, like, having sex in, in the open and, like, going in an alley behind something where, like, if someone caught you they wouldn't see anything they would just you would just have to stop if you were in an alley yeah like no kids are going to be in an alley and accidentally see you if they are it's like what are you doing here yeah yeah. listen you were in the alley you knew what you were doing when you came into the alley (laughs) people fucking these yeah (laughs) there's people living doing shit i'm trying to google like offensive songs and i'm not finding anything like by women for women <laughs> this is my line right here i don't cook i don't clean but let me tell you i got this how i got this ring i can't do anything see i don't like that line i'm not a homemaker dude that line that's the most offensive line in the whole song oh, i don't cook i don't clean yeah then why are you here <laughs> <laughs> but she fucks you so good that you're like i don't care no no i if you don't cook you don't clean but you're that's like but i got this bomb ass pussy i'm like there are girls out there who cook who clean and and have a bomb ass pussy. I don't know. So what do you do? Like, how are you going to compete with those women? She's so confident that her pussy is that much better than those girls. Let's say she has a ten out of ten pussy, right? She's on another level. No, she, no. Let, it only the, the, the scales only go from one to ten. No, there's ten of ten pussy. There's Halo One pussy, but then there's <laughs> there's Half Life Two pussy. Do you understand what I'm it's saying? Still, no, what it's I'm on saying, another level of pussy. I'm saying if there's a girl with a seven out of ten pussy and then a five out of ten cooking and cleaning, that's still more points. <laughs> no, <laughs> the, 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 you can't. Uh, people are more multifaceted than just one thing if someone just if it's like when someone's just like i do this i do that they're focused on one only one topic you're like that's all you're good at everything else in your life must be shitty because you can't talk about she's focused on other stuff she's just saying but she's admitting she can't even cook and can't even clean i can't do those things yeah you just exposed yourself (laughs) i'm with her i get it (laughs) don't there there are probably face tattoo comedians who can cook and clean damn and ladies you should set your sights higher (laughs) (laughs) respect yourself (laughs) go for the all-around badass don't just be like i do this one thing and one thing great like all right what what are you gonna do for the other 23 hours a day (laughs) maybe you could pull out maybe you could fuck three separate hours during the day then what watch youtube no games she never talks she never talks about that in the song enjoy each other's company she never brings that up (laughs) she has a lion i think it's implied in the music video when she's like look at all these tigers i have i'm pretty cool that is cool she does have a cool the video is like it doesn't make me horny either. I feel no. like it, it needs to. It's just, I'm like, I don't know. It makes me horny. I don't get but it. But you don't get it. That's cool. Gobble me, swallow me, drip down the side of me. Quick jump out for you, let it inside of me. I tell him where to put it, never tell him where I'm about to be. I don't understand that line. Tell him where to put it? Yeah. No, no, no. Tell him where to put it makes sense. What do you, what? No, where I'm about to be? Yeah. Never tell him where I'm about to be. She's like, does that, she keeps it mysterious. Oh, I thought I, I can't tell if she's like hiding from him, trying to get him to find and fuck her, or if she's like not telling him. Like, and then she's like, "Ah, oh, I put my finger where it doesn't go," and you're like, oh, that's "No, a, that's a good theory." Yeah, I'll run down on him for. Uh, I can't say some of this. <laughs> what? Are talk, you Ben Shapiroing it right talk now? Talk your shit, bite your lip. There you go. Ask for a car while you ride that dick. Uh, you, that would be cool if. Uh, if some girl's fucking you and she's like do you want a car i'm like okay <laughs> yeah dude that's honestly straight up i'm just like yeah I have to, are you that's, serious that's never, that's <laughs> hold never, up that's never happened before <laughs> you really ain't never gotta fuck him for a thing he already made up his mind before he came now get your boots and your coat for this wet ass pussy he bought a phone just for pictures of this wet ass pussy well that's just ridiculous Tell me, why just... Here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting deeper. Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet ass pussy. So she's an educated woman. Pay my tuition. So she wants him. Yeah. So wait, she's buying him a car, but she wants him to buy. I think her. we misunderstood. I think she's riding the dick, and then she asks for a car, oh. which would do the. I mean, if you're trying to make me last longer, you've accomplished your mission. Because <laughs> so, yeah, I'm like, know. what? No, bitch, I don't have a car. You knew that when yeah. you started fucking me. There's no way I'm giving you a car. Like neither of us get cars. Where you get this dick, and that's it. Now make it rain if you want to see some wet ass pussy. 
look, I need a Some hard hitter, play. need a deep stroker, I need a henny drinker, I need a weed smoker while I'm out. Damn. This song is not offensive. I need a garter, not a garter snake, I need a king cobra. Interesting that they didn't go with anaconda, but I know that it doesn't rhyme. King cobras aren't the coolest snake. What's the coolest snake? Oh, uh, what do you, they're they're up there. They're in the Pit top vipers five. Vipers are like the ones that black mambas are the ones that just like fucking murderize you. Here's the thing: king cobras get punked by like little fucking ferret looking bitches, mirror cats. Um, mongooses. Mongooses. Is that's what you're right. Of. That's right. Those little, those little ass rodents. They're just like pra- long prairie dogs, and they're beating up cobras. That shit's weak. Uh, King cobras also can't kill honey badgers. They fucking don't do anything. You know what this song doesn't do? It's not degrading towards men, and I think that's what it needed to. It, it didn't hit that bar. It should have <laughs> been. It should have been more degrading towards men. Been like. I don't know. I use them and then I I, I leave them. <laughs> I, no, I is the song about how they fuck the people they love so hard? No, she's like asking for stuff. She should be like, I stole. I Cardi B used to be harder. She used to be a stripper. Yeah, who, no, she's a married who, woman with a baby. Wait, wait. She used to be a stripper who would drug. She Bill Cosby. <laughs> remember this? She would Bill Cosby her clients and steal their wallets. <laughs> yes. And everyone was like, that's that's bad. And she was like, I, I was in a dark place. And everyone's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's really what should happen. <laughs> when when you go to meet to someone and then they're like, yes, I did that. It, but it was a, the, I was wrong. I was a poor stripper <laughs> yeah. stealing money. And everyone's like, oh, that checks out, actually. Actually, yeah, yeah, that is not a. Um, the thing is, <laughs> I can't do a, oh. a, a Jordan Peterson. <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to say? I don't know, Jor- Jordan. Uh, please uh, take this one for me, buddy. <laughs> I thought I was gonna do. <laughs> I was doing a Ben Shapiro. You do, oh, yeah. Jordan. To uh, <laughs> <laughs> to judge a woman in such a, a low place to drug a man. The power dynamics are not even there. She she is innocent in my eyes. <laughs> now, here's the thing, Jordan, is that I am 5'1". So if she would drug me, then it would be as if she was assaulting a small child. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I, is think that, I feel like I nailed the impression right there. Is that why Ben Shapiro is like... <laughs> do you think... Because for those of you who don't know, his sister... She's really cute, yeah. but she's got <laughs> she's got some like quadruple D bongos. <laughs> <laughs> she's got fucking super tits, dude. dude. They were developed in space by NASA and then attached. But they're like perfectly balanced. They're like proportional. <laughs> she's got some of the biggest tits I've ever seen if on a small. If you believe in God, p- he'll. Dude, I'm about to convert it, to Judaism because of. And so it, I follow her on Twitter, and whenever she posts. Just every a lot of them are trolling, but it's just like post picture of your of your feet. Let me see those milkies. Like so, she'll be like, "Here's my new recipe of like," because she's like trying to do this like Jewish like housewife Martha Stewart kind of thing, Susie homemaker. Which she also has like a weird. It's like a it's like a wholesome OnlyFans. I, I guess I feel you like have to pay to get her recipes and her she's stories. She's the sluttiest religious person do you know what i mean like she's doing everything by the book right up to the line and she's like this isn't sexy and then she winks at you and you go oh, did she wink yeah she, did she wink and the, the other guy next to you is like i don't know i was staring at her tits well, and you're like damn it she's got huge knockers and then she posts uh she's like standing outside in a sundress and like here's my feet yeah. like she just... like does <laughs> modesty vlogs where she's yeah. like women modesty isn't just about how you dress so it's about how you behave around men why is it that her modesty vlogs make me harder Dude. than cardi b's they do <laughs> cardi b's just like <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna murder you. I'm gonna sit on your face till you're dead. And I'm like, whatever. Here's, I get it. But then <laughs> Ben Shapiro's sister is just like, I baked you cookie. And I'm like, I can see your ankles, <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> here's the cool world I live in, where I watch the wet ass pussy video, and then I'm just like, oh my god, I just want to fuck someone <laughs> until they die. And then I I see in a loving way, <laughs> in a loving way. And then I see her video where she's like laying on the ground in her sundress, and she's like, I figured out how to make zucchini with meat in it. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> like fucking just coming my brain brains out 
dude. Anyways, my theory is <laughs> Ben Shapiro's like five four. He's not as tall as he says because every every <laughs> if you look up anyone's height online, and they every I think for like every if you have a million dollars, you add an inch. If you have 10 million if you're in double digits millions you add two inches if you're in triple digits you add about like you add three inches and then from there because every single celebrity how many celebrities have you seen that like their listed height and then seen them in person you're like you're like six inches shorter than <laughs> yeah, yeah, in yeah, real yeah. life so ben shapiro is way shorter than he said that i think he looks like he's five six which is already just like oof and so i think he's already has like the napoleon complex he's short he's been bullied by five ten motherfuckers like me like i'm perfectly average yeah yeah <laughs> and then his whole life he's been bullied he's tiny then his sister just is probably developed early got all the attention in high school and that just pushed him into the monster he is today <laughs> yeah he is a maniac and or... then is then he finally got his wife and he doesn't know <laughs> what a wet ass pussy actually. Do you think he can even compre- comprehend? That's why the Cardi B video made him so like crazy. What is this? <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. Wait, dude, I have friends. I truly have friends that are just like porn is ridiculous. Girls don't like giving blowjobs, and you're like, oh no, yeah. oh no. That's a bummer. I feel like Ben Shapiro is definitely one of those guys where he's like, women don't like cum. No one likes sex. And you're like, oh, okay, bud. Okay. That's a bummer for you. You know, pussies can be too wet, too. Dude, they can be. <laughs> and that's that's can why be. shower sex isn't good. It's all You can't feel anything. It's like all too much. Mm, shower sex is really good. And I don't, uh, you, listen, you expose yourself. Uh, no. You're, you don't have my secret moves. <laughs> what is the secret move? I can't tell you. I, listen, <laughs> I will have shower sex every time. I, don't, I won't not do it. Listen, any sex is better than no sex, but I'm just saying. You oh, know. no. Another intellectual t- chiming in, Russell Brand. <laughs> another intellectual well he dude fuck british people shut the fuck up about our wet ass <laughs> pussies over here yeah. your pussies have fucking what do they have in them fucking shepherd's pie pussy get that shit out of here i'm just kidding ladies if you're in the uk <laughs> please hit me up i want to get out of here dude, it was Brit- <laughs> that british but do you like what you say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a British accent. Do, I'm gonna. Do you want Fuck. to? I'm gonna make my pussy wet. Hold on, I have to write a letter to the Queen to ask if it's okay. Fuck me in me arse. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know. Sorry, ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your accents are funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my p- policemen don't have guns, so I can't make my pussy wet. There's no sense of danger. They, I don't think they say pussy. They'd probably be like fanny. Oh, yeah. That's... My fanny is moist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our pussies don't get wet. So f- f- wait, what, what would their song be? Fannies that are moist? <laughs> Just instead of what ass Moist pussy. ass for fanny. Map. Moist ass fanny map. That's actually already a problem. Yeah, problematic. It's not a good one. Acronym. What does that stand for? I don't remember. I know what it's it like is. Something pedophiles. Something something pedophiles. I don't know. Map. Acronym. Map is those people who are like, I'm a pedophile to sexual orientation, and I'm like, yeah, I, I, I mean, it is. <laughs> yeah, sure, I believe you. Come over here and stand in front of the f- this gun. I, it's not loaded. Minor like, attracted person. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh, there's a no map movement. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's not offending. Minor attracted person. <laughs> oh, not. That sucks because maps is like the psychedelic research. Yeah, uh, it's also the name for a piece of paper that has where you need to go written on it. Mac. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's maps. that one big one. Moist ass fannies. No, it wouldn't be map fannies. It's spelled with a P. <laughs> How do you spell fanny? F F A N N Y. That's the American spelling. Uh, what fanny with a P H is like how they would spell it. Like it, it, they throw mean, like P H cool. They, like they put throw in some extra U's and E's in there too. <laughs> My fanny. What do you think they in Australia? They're just like uh, you're. When you say that, it's reminding me of uh, all the. 
very mentally disabled autistic people on what is that Netflix show? Love the, is love, love is... on the spectrum or something. That show that I watch, and every time I watch it, I'm just the whole time I'm watching it, I'm just like, oh no. Love on the spectrum. They yeah, should have called it. Called. They should have made it like a love is blind kind of. Love is retarded. That would have been a better. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a better name for the show. It's a really cute show. It, it it is. It's so wholesome that it like heals my heart. Sometimes some of the dates are like legitimately rough to watch, and you're like, oh no, but I enjoy them. Dude, <laughs> some of those people, I'm going to. I'm drifting into fascist and eugenics territory here. <laughs> oh no! Well, I mean, listen, <laughs> but there's like some where I'm just like. You should not be <laughs> dating anyone, maybe. I don't know. There was one where they were talking about having kids, and yeah, I yeah. was like, someone's got to stop this right now. Don't have kids. I mean, if your kids come out normal, if it's not genetically passed. No, your parents. <laughs> Dude, remember when I told you that? Okay. <laughs> Firstly, just to finish this up, <laughs> I like I just don't I just don't think it's responsible for two heavily disabled people that can't take care of themselves to have kids, right? That's where I'm drawing the line. Yeah, yeah that's where I'm drawing the line and too. That is and, and <laughs> it, it, when you're like I'm going into fascist territory, it's like, yeah, I hate fascism, but as if someone was like, dude, you want to kill all the pedophiles? It's like, oh I may yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, ah but um It is a fascist stance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's remember the when I used to work at uh, Turn. Oh, I shouldn't even. No, it doesn't matter. It truly doesn't matter. Well, is that the name of the place? Yeah, yeah, Should yeah. we edit that out? No, it's fine. It, it, it's a big company. They have they serve a ton of clients. But there Turn. was yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's an acronym for something. I can't remember. But um, there was a guy who there was a disabled man who was just disabled enough that he like could mostly take care of himself but not really like he had the intelligence of like a 14 year old right and so he had a caretaker who uh raped him is that what we want to say was i mean it, i'm was sure it a lady yeah okay <laughs> i mean it's consensual but is it like she took advantage of him she was supposed to take care of him she had sex with him then she got pregnant oh, and no. so like i talked to him and i was and he, he i would just be like so he would be like i don't have money for legos because they not only did she not get in trouble she then had the baby and then half of his like government money that he was getting every because he couldn't hold the job because he was disabled was going to child support so <laughs> he couldn't afford Ford, the Legos he wanted <laughs> because he had to pay for his baby. And so, ladies, what happened there? That's the worst thing I've ever heard. I'm, <laughs> I'm, Just I'm looking at you I'm taking anti, the psychic damage. I'm anti woman forever. <laughs> Dude, I know. <laughs> that, uh, that was the baby normal, at least? Dude, yes, it was. Right, and every so. time I hear about like, when girls are just like, girl boss, men are trash, I think about that story. <laughs> just... I think about him wanting to buy the Millennium Falcon Lego set. <laughs> but he has to and pay child support. He has to pay child support. Because a woman raped a retarded yes. kid or yeah. a guy, I guess. I don't yeah. know. He was in his 30s. Was he into it, at least at the time? I don't know. I'm assuming yes. I, I would. Here's the thing. Yeah, yeah. probably he was. Of course he was. Yeah. Like he's, he doesn't understand. <laughs> he's you know some the, the your caretaker lady just starts rubbing up on you and you're like oh this is cool yeah dude he was probably like i can't believe dude finally he's probably like thought he'd been putting what if he did put the moves on her <laughs> <laughs> what if he seduced her like you know like when cool 16 year old kids seduce their 30 40 year old teachers <laughs> oh shit listen i didn't want to fuck kevin but he, he, did, he had the death star yeah, lego set dude. complete and he took such good care of it he had that swag <laughs> <laughs> the way you the way his velcro new balance his match with his pants just set me off dude that <laughs> so, <laughs> so was, brutal was his body normal <laughs> yeah he always okay. He's okay so maybe maybe it was like maybe she was like changing him and she just saw what he was packing <laughs> no <laughs> he, wasn't, he didn't need to be changed no, i don't know <laughs> he wasn't like that 
<laughs> you, you say severely. Yeah. Oh, I mean, severe enough that he like can't like pay his own bills. It's like he needs help. But he could still he needed charm to, women. He, he needed me to drive him to the Lego store and explain to him that he couldn't afford the Millennium Falcon because of child support. Dude. That's where we're at. We should raise money to <laughs> give him buy him the thing. Maybe how how long ago was that? Can you say? It was like 10 years ago. So do you think his kid is playing Legos with him now? I don't know. That's a very good question. I hope his life is good. But that <sighs> happened bef- way before I ever met him. Yeah. So that kid is probably eight, old enough to Dude. listen to this podcast and hear us how, talk about how shitty his mom is. How fucked up is like you're a kid and you're like, who's you find out like, because if you don't have like your parent, you're going to like search, right? And what if you like search for if she's never told them who their dad was, and then you just find out? Yeah, dude. That's, you're like that. Wait, I came from that. That that's, might fuck you up, dude. That's such a wild situation. I knew a girl in high school who was really she like had an Amy, Amy Adams vibe. She was like redhead, super cute. And one day, I think we were like going to pick her up for like a group project or something. Yeah. And, her dad <laughs> was something was wrong with him. <laughs> oh yeah. Her, like her mom was like hot and I want to say like it didn't he didn't look like he'd gotten hit in the head. He looked like it was from birth. He was just slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe he's a sweetheart. <laughs> I bet he was. I mean he, <laughs> His, he had a whole family. <laughs> he was just what outside. Did he do for a living? I don't know that he did anything for a living. I just remember <laughs> going over the one time, and he was like out mowing the lawn. Like, <laughs> just... maybe he's fucking with you. <laughs> I don't think he was. You could. <laughs> That's you need a lot of makeup. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. She, I see what we're going. She, she was. She was smart. She was hot. She <laughs> was normal. <laughs> <laughs> she seemed pretty uh well adjusted so if, but if i don't know it's like when you have a like a retarded sibling you're like yeah that's my that's my brother <laughs> like yep that's my dad <laughs> <laughs> there it is <laughs> it's crazy that like you could still have healthy sperm <laughs> created a healthy human yeah i mean yeah i mean people who have no disabilities create people with disabilities all the time that is a good way it's of putting it. It's all random <laughs> chance, man. It, God isn't real. And if he is, he doesn't care about how you feel. Dude, what if God was... What if he was mentally disabled? <laughs> <laughs> what if God is like on the spectrum? And that's why our universe sucks and the world is... <laughs> God, like... You don't know. Dude. We I don't would... know if God's a lady or a man or if he's black or white or if he's got all his t- 10 toes i guess we're made in his image is what the bible says yeah that's but. the thing is i always like when people are like god isn't a bearded guy it's like no he literally is <laughs> like that's no, the he... bible actually tells us he's a man we look like him well but here's the you... thing if you average out like uh all of humans right now living right now yeah, i guess yeah. you, you do it over time but if we're just doing it for right now uh i think the most average human on earth is like a 31 year old chinese man (laughs) so that's what god probably is (laughs) well no because humans all we all come from somewhere in ethiopia remember that's like the one that's the first start that's so you think god is like a god's an ethiopian black black guy from africa yeah yeah, yeah. i like it i'd worship him or a black lady no, he said he was a man. The Bible said he was oh, a man. You're right, you're right, you're right. Because he created woman extra. Yeah, God's a man. That's right. So God's a black guy. Dude, he's gonna be pissed <laughs> <laughs> when he finds out what's been going on down here. Not at he's me. He's gonna be fucking pissed. Not at me. I've avoided all <laughs> Latinos are out of the race force. We don't have any sides. It's so true. You guys really do a good job of just being like, oh, we're out. I saw there was some girl on TikTok complaining because you know how Latinos can be like white, white, <laughs> yeah, like blue, oh. like Aryan white. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 all, all the time. There's some girl complaining. She's like, ah, my, I'm like from Brazil, but I got all the like Aryan <laughs> German genes in me, and people don't believe I'm Latino. And this one like dark girl, this was just like, how how can you say you're Latina? And everyone was just being like bitch are you gatekeeping your race <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> she's complaining 
that it's it's hard for her and you're coming in and everyone is tearing her apart in this video very funny it's so fun well i mean yeah spanish latins are dark europeans they're mixed with moors they're it's latins are spaniards and natives (laughs) yeah and the spaniards were ruled by the um what the the sassanid um now you're just making up words. Sassanid? Anyway, no, there, fuck, I can't remember what the caliphate was called. Anyway, Spain was ruled by an Arabic caliphate for like 600 years. So the the mixing in that area, you know, your the Latin people's races are all weird. Your ethnicity is whatever, but your Damn. races are you're all different colors. La- La- what are you doing? Latinos are the the best. They're, They're everything. When I go to Scandinavia, I'm just like, hey. It's us. Yeah, you all look the same. Yeah, when I go to Mexico, and I have been, when I go to Mexico, I'm just like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what are you all up to? People are like, we don't know. <laughs> We're fucking. <laughs> there's his, like, yeah, Mexicans can be super short and stout. And then there's, uh, what is it? You have, like, Dominican. What is it? Is it Dominic- the Dominican Republican or dominican republic where the, you're straight up like black latinos yeah 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 <laughs> you're like hell yeah dude and then cuba where everyone's like white yeah and- cuba and like parts of brazil and argentina yeah just straight up white full spectrum latinos are everything yeah it's uh, i yeah latinos I let people gate latinx is have you ever seen um like a mixed race twins and one is black and one is white yes it happens <laughs> and it cracks me up when pe- people are like so just like that one can't do this and that one can and it's like i don't know it seems racist do they get that crazy <laughs> they do do people have what gotten if... racist at rashida jones before they figured Wait, out she was black has there ever been like a twin where one of them turns out mentally disabled that has to happen right i don't know where one of them gets the autism and one of them turns out normal but like what identical twins <laughs> what if there were identical twins but one of them just got the autism switch flipped Dude, I don't know. That's a really good question. I'm gonna look that up. <laughs> You're gonna it'd be, find out. It'd be a good test. <laughs> what? What test? I don't know. You, okay, Joseph Mangle. <laughs> we were talking about eugenics. What do you up to? <laughs> you're just you're just taking the <laughs> that one person's blocks away, and they're and you're looking at the other one. Like, are you getting angry? How do you feel right now? I just want to see if it's true that autistic people have bigger dicks. <laughs> I'm get out the measuring tape. Start measuring skull shapes. <laughs> <laughs> As someone with diagnosis. Most Asperger's, I can tell you, the dick thing is not true. <laughs> um, also, there's like, what was that? There was that girl on the second episode of Love is on the Spectrum. She's pretty cute. <laughs> I could, I could date an Aspie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. I mean, absolutely, you could. There's no way something's not going on with you. What do you think? How? What percentage? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're not doing well, man. I'm you, on the Spectrum. Up. I don't know that how. You're... I'm I'm extremely high functioning. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, just the fact that you so confidently said that was like, yeah, that's sure you are, bud. <sighs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Name a reason I how am I not? You're filthy. That's not there are plenty of normal humans. Who, <laughs> I do the dishes more than you do. No, every time I leave for any amount of time I come home, the place is a not you <laughs> your room. It, I'll just take a photo of your room to prove my point to everybody. It looks so fucking wild whoa, in there. Whoa, whoa. I don't understand. If I leave for a week and come back like to visit my grandpa or to go work on the road, when I come back, how your room looks spills out into the living room. It's crazy. That's you literally just got like cl- Are you throwing clothes? Shame. What is happening? That's not any. That's not because of a mental disability. It's because of depression. <laughs> no, <laughs> depression doesn't. I don't under. How do you get like trash everywhere? It just manifest. It can't your, just be centralized. It's your mental state, dude. You literally just have like clothes, one shoe on the floor right here, the other shoe is nowhere to be found. It's crazy. That's why I can't be with Cardi B. I need someone who can clean. <laughs> <laughs> Look, your pussy's dry, you can't cook, but you can clean. I like it. Okay. <laughs> I'm in. Fair enough. Fair enough. What is um what what is Shapiro's sister name? I gotta find it out. I don't know. She's, what do you think? She's a ten out of ten cook, ten out of ten clean? Maybe. I, I that would be funny if she was not Abigail. Abigail. Abigail Shapiro. That's such a uh of course her name's Abigail situation, right? What about her? Um, well, just like her name is so fancy and old, you know. 
Um, Do you think Ben Shapiro's on the spectrum? No. I no? Just, I just think he's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I just think he's like hyper... You know those religious dorks who like... They're too. They're so smart that they know something's wrong with what they believe. They know that like it's not all adding up, but, and but they're like smart enough to also do the mental gymnastics to like maintain their lifestyle and try to like. No, I'm right, yeah, everyone. They, I haven't wasted my time. This is real. That's kind of what it. he is. I actually knew a lot of Mormon people who uh, we were headed towards a gambling trip, and they were like, it was it was with a bunch of Mormon guys and their sons. Were all about to turn like they were. They were like sixteen to eighteen. Mm-hmm. And there was a couple of guys, and so we're all sitting in this car, Mormon, all Mormons, uh, headed toward gambling, which you're not supposed to do. And my my buddy, the guy I was with, was just like, "So you actually like you went on a mission, and you raised your family, but like, do you believe?" And they're like, "No, we don't believe any of this." Yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> obviously, it's a good community and. Yeah, my mission. There's some good shit about it, but like. yeah, dude. no, dude. I know so many religious people who do religious community stuff that are like, yeah. listen, low key. My family's all in it. Whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. It'd be so much drama to leave. Yeah, and they're like, don't care. They're like, I don't hate church. Like, it's fine. Also, like, I am scared to die. So, like, <laughs> maybe it's real. I don't know, but I'm not fucking worried about the rules. And you're like, okay, I guess. They're just like. I don't know how to. I, I think that most people who are deep into something serious like that have that attitude. Where you just like, I'm not going to think about it. Yeah, it's just like, this is too much. I'll do Whatever. this just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it right there. It's fucking wild, dude. If you want to follow his sister, <laughs> why are we plugging her? Classically Abby on Twitter. The classically Abby. She, she posts feet every now and then. Dude, she really does. I, she has to know. She has to understand. Oh, my God. Show me. She's a big old Jewish nose. And she's oh, so hot. Dude, I love <laughs> I love when someone has, like, one thing wrong with their face. Well, wrong. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like, something something that's not, like, stock normal. Something that, like, a, um, not even a defect, but just, like, a marker. Like, a unique identifier. I fucking hate... When people are like, I want a perfectly symmetrical face. All the Kardashians that look identical. Oh, dude, it's like, yeah, you look like copy and pasted like a video game character. It's so fucking boring and so, lame. So while we're talking about eugenics and Jews. <laughs> dude, our, Can I, our Hebrew is queens. Am I wrong where I feel like there's a lot of Jewish women mm-hmm. who... Mm-hmm. who have like really skinny necks and tiny heads and giant boobs? Yeah, the, because and I'm way into that. Do you know what's happening there? <laughs> what is happening? Because Ashkenazi Jews are all the, the we occupy that like ger- the that half of Scandinavia, half of Russia thing. Oh, the Russian boobies. Yeah, yeah. We talked you're, about what that you're before. seeing is you're seeing <laughs> Russian. You're just seeing women with Russian Jewish women with Russian heritage. What is it that part of the world that just makes your Slavic women are just those like giant boobs? I don't know, man. And I, I'm normally not into it, but then it's something about. Sl- God built their <laughs> like, women like that so they wouldn't conquer the world. <laughs> so they'd be too focused on being at home with their super hot Russian wives. Oh, she's tweeting last night. Who's watching the UFC fights tonight? She watches the fights, huh? No, she was just asking. Oh. <laughs> and then the first reply is the picture of her with her feet with a Pepe sucking, Aww, sucking on her so feet. So sad. I wish I was watching something else you know. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Dude, her replies are so... Th- like And... She can't block everyone. No. I think she knows. Like she just leaves it, probably kind of like the gun girl, the Kent State gun girl. Yeah, it's um, yeah, all bad engagement is still engagement. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the the algorithm promotes it. She knows. She has to know that the trolls are only going to bring her people who are going to want to defend her, who are then going to be loyal to her and enjoy her and like her and help her build her thing. And subscribe to her. What her? What is it called? It's so funny that her brother is like. Because Ben Shapiro's, all his friends are left-leaning people. Like, are he they? actually doesn't have very many right-leaning. Yeah, he lives in Hollywood. He hangs out with left-leaning Jews. Like, he's a very left-leaning person, but he 
he tries to match his you know religious views about gay marriage and all this other stuff with his political party and then he ends up in that's how he why he was like do you think he's doing no that? trump no trump and then trump happened and he was like i guess i do this now i guess i do you, you're just like you think wow he, he does the thing where he's like a right-wing pundit but secretly he's just blowing dudes I in back alleys fucking would not just surprise me. has a leather daddy on he's so <laughs> like... weird he, and he like flip-flops a lot he's I think he's kind of like a uh, what's his what's the name of the really fun guy Alex Jones. <gasps> he's kind of like an Alex Jones where Alex Jones like maybe is lost in the sauce, but also it's like a lot of it is performance art, and he's just like, I guess I fucking do this. This is who I am. I'm stuck here. That is a thing because like you do something for so long and it becomes your career. Yeah, like a lot of it's like it's the Kanye thing. Like how much of him, how much of yourself once you start doing a personality thing just becomes your personality like you you, you're like oh if i act like this then people respond in such a way positively or negatively and then you do that for a while and then you stop like forgetting it's that's just who you are now dude people say fake it till you make it and that's real (laughs) yeah and it works in a bad way as well as a good way you can fake it till you make it by like trying to be confident trying to be kind or like change the way people perceive you if you're an angry person or or try and like get into an industry or whatever but you can also accidentally fake yourself into being alex jones and now well, you're that's a alex good thing jones. give a bad example <laughs> no it's not a good example what are you talking about no, what do you, you want to defend alex jones? i will defend alex jones well, how well, what does he do this good uh, he exposes the Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> the Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati. The Illuminati. No, he, he exposes the the lizard pedophile elites. No. He one. He's never w- exposed. One, one, one. Who did he expose? Um. Who did he stop? He well, stopping them is a whole different well, story. But he's made so many claims where he's like Hillary Clinton is a lizard person. I will end her career tonight. Tune in at eight, and then See? eight rolls around, and he goes, "I'm so sorry, everybody. We had no. pictures of Hillary Clinton as a lizard fucking a baby." No. And, uh, See, that's the thing is when you're fighting these shadow proxy wars, you say you expose something and then the Clintons have to be like, damn, we can't do that thing now. So you have to shift. (laughs) No, he's like the Mayan calendar. The Mayans were just like, let's just say the world's going to end in 2020. And then another Mayan's like, yeah, there's no way we last that long. That's that's another biblical like prophecy thing is like, no, they've I think it's one of the no one knows when the end of the world is, according to the Bible. So anyone who says they know is wrong. So if some like church is just like, by the way, everybody, uh, August 14th, 2024, the world ends. I'm like, okay, that day I can do, <laughs> I'm good. I can sin on that day <laughs> and then repent at the end of the day because I know the world is not going to end on that day because then it would. It would but be- if you're Mormon, you can't trust the Bible because the Bible also said if any other works after this come, they are the an- the work of the Antichrist. And then the Book of Mormon was written after the New Testament. Also, the Book of Mormon says uh, that the all those books were translated as best as they could be too. <laughs> oh there you are, retconned there, it there's you some good bastard. there's some good uh, caveats so like whoa, whoa, whoa humans did translate this god's word is pure and undeniable but humans are fallible so what does that mean then <laughs> what do we know that god said all we know is god is a black ethiopian <laughs> <laughs> dude Just, he's gonna be so pissed a bunch of god coming down my children i have returned no and then well, he's well, well, like, well, that's not how he sounds <laughs> my children <laughs> it's not ethiopian I don't, <laughs> what is he i don't know what ethiopian accent you sounds are like. gay <laughs> why are you gay <laughs> that's, the, that's the first thing when god comes down why are you gay? <laughs> Just <laughs> that asking dude, everyone. That dude I told you not dude. to do that. <laughs> no one's better than the chick because it's a trans woman, right? And she's not even gay. I don't. Is it think. a trans? I thought it was just a gay lady. And I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of a different conversation. You're right. So maybe it's just a gay woman. But he's like, "Why are you gay?" And then she's looking at him like, "I, I fuck women. You fuck women too. What, what do you mean? Why? Like, it fucking guys looks terrible." I think she asked him, like, would you fuck a man? And he goes, I would never. <laughs> and then she's like, she's like, so I feel the same way. And then he's just like, I have never thought about it like that. <laughs> like, she wins. It's pretty no. cool. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but I imagined Rafiki from The Lion King say, "Why are you gay?" <laughs> so God is an Ethiopian guy. Dude, is that the, is that the cradle of civilization? It is the cradle. Yeah, we it genuinely is. You can't. Who says God is human? What if he's a Neanderthal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go, let's go back even further. Yeah, dude. I mean, we did kill them. Yeah. We killed them and then we interbred with them. Yeah, there's there's a, like people. I can't. I don't know where you get it tested, but you can get your yes, DNA tested. Some people have a lot. <laughs> and, well, so uh, people will be like, the way they phrase it is like, wow, you have ninety percent more Neanderthal DNA than the average person, which means you have like point two instead yeah, of yeah. point zero 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 one. But still it's still out there yeah no <laughs> it is style. out there we they're still in us we <laughs> yeah it's so crazy because they were like bigger and stronger than us but then our ancestors were like uh they were throwing rocks at us and our and one day one of our ancestors was like i sharpened a stick <laughs> and one of our other ancestors was like whoa and he goes watch this and he went out and some neanderthal guy threw a rock at him and then he fucking speared him and everyone was like holy shit dude you fucking nailed that guy and he's like this is the new realness and then neanderthal god was like what the fuck are these people yeah, doing neanderthal god was like hey ethiopian god your guy just fucking murked my guy with a stick and ethiopian god was like i can't control well, them not ethiopian. they are gay human god <laughs> yeah because oh. neanderthals are not human yeah, well well, Ethiopian God is also human God. We're all Ethiopian. I know, but I don't want. I don't want to. I want to. I want to <laughs> oh, distinct. Yeah, yeah. Look, look. I'm all for all humans and all races of humans. But if you got Neanderthal in you, <laughs> I'm gonna, that's where You're the enemy. <laughs> that's where I'm going to do. That's where we're going to do the genetic testing and be like. <laughs> That we got some Neanderthals. <laughs> Be racist against Neanderthals. <laughs> <laughs> Neanderthal God. It's all bummed out. No, I'm saying modern day. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, even <laughs> now. <laughs> create a crusade against this person has 1% Neanderthal <laughs> DNA. <laughs> we got to finish them off. We got to cleanse the human race. <laughs> Get rid of all the Neanderthal DNA. Do you think they were? I wonder what kind and then of it, humans... Wait, then I'm the leader and it turns out I have like 5% Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're Neanderthal Hitler. Okay, oh, I no. <laughs> <laughs> only a neanderthal would come up with a plan this stupid i should have known anyway. oh man uh <laughs> what kind of humans do you think came before neanderthals and and uh homo sapiens what do you mean what kind of humans those wouldn't be humans You're saying what kind of being genus yeah what? what genus of ape was it genus I or love the, familia <laughs> or i love the idea of like uh god watching and then we kill neanderthals and he's like excellent hell yeah making it stunting on neanderthal god just like that's right get fucked and the neanderthal god's watching and he's like hey your guys one of your guys is fucking the other one in the butt and god's like no i gotta make a bible about this and tell him not to do that and then he comes down and he's like you can't fuck each other in the ass and then noah's like you put homo right in homo sapien what did you think we would do and god's like no and then he drowns everybody and then we we still fucked Oh, dude, God has really done the most to stop us from having sex with each other, and he can't. We are undefeated, dude. What came before? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Fucking (laughs) gorillas? No, they're still around. Dude, you ever... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a misconception. That's one of those stupid things that, like, if we evolved from monkeys... That's what I was just about to bring up. How come there's still monkeys? I love love that. You, how come there's still like if we all evolve from single cell organisms? How come there's still single cell <laughs> organisms? Yeah, yeah, Part of you evolve. It's like the original. What? What's a? I don't. How would you simplify it with like dog stuff? Where if it's like if you if you create a breed off of pugs, if you mix pugs and German shepherds, and then you have this new breed of sh- permin ugs, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. like. But there's still German shepherds and pugs. It's just this new breed yeah, yeah. exists now. And if that breed keeps going and then pugs kind of slowly, there's less of those, but they're still around. And it's still around. I don't, it's such a, when I was if in, I can logic my way through that, <laughs> dude. how dumb do you have to be that it's like, yeah, monkeys still exist. I remember when pastors were saying that back in the day, my uncle, 
I, I got into an argument with my uncle about evolution in dinosaurs once, and he dropped that, and like my whole family was like, "Oh, <laughs> he brought up the monkey thing!" We, like we they got thought him. they fucking ended me, and I was just like, I literally, I think I said the dog thing, and everyone was like, "Okay, well, you don't know, Shane. You're not a scientist." Well, if we all came from Ethiopians, how come there's still black people? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like what? Because <laughs> they're still there. <laughs> people still. We all, those things keep going. Dude, that's, yeah, it's so funny. It's wild. People be wild. Wild as fuck. How come? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Um, (laughs) I can't do a Jordan Peterson at all. (laughs) <laughs> what was this fun to make fun of? What was it? What would his opinion be? The evolution of oh, I can't. You gotta get your voice right. That he you, always says weird stuff about like being fulfilled. If Neanderthals had just had one wife and they they got jobs and they did what they were supposed to and they worshipped their Neanderthal god, they could have been fulfilled and then humans wouldn't have speared them to death. No, my daughter gave me <laughs> coronavirus. Oh yeah, you're gonna tell me about that. <laughs> Jordan Peterson's like dying. Yeah, I mean, which is sad. Listen, his wife passed away. He lost his mind. When did his wife pass away? I don't know. All I know is that Jordan Peterson, like, genuinely, truly was having a rough go of it, despite how fucking idiotic some of his philosophical arguments he makes are. He truly does like damage, but my heart goes out to him. And then his daughter and her, her pickup artist boyfriend snuck him into Russia for experimental brain treatments that did brain damage. Wait, what's wrong with his brain? He had like, he, he took, he took some experimental medication or something that fucked up his brain. Okay. That's pretty cool. Well, he was really depressed and he got off his depression medication because he was like, I eat only meat now yeah yeah they were on the meat thing yeah but that's not a real thing you can't do that it's very bad for you i mean we're omnivores if you have enough neanderthal dna you probably could do it fine the thing is if people don't want to have this conversation we are we can omnivore and we can vegetable but we can't only meat dude i can only meat. no you can't <laughs> I, i'm gonna do a You're carnivore gonna get scurvy no, I'll eat like a cow that ate an orange and I'll be fine. <laughs> That's I would get my I would get I would find an animal that eats a lot of fruit and then eat it. Just imagining like you a, encouraging just watching a rabbit eat a carrot like <laughs> yeah, yeah, get in there, little ass rabbit. I would I would feed the pork a bunch of a, like pigs a bunch of stuff. You could you could oh, be only man. a meatarian. I th- I don't know how long. That Why don't would you be just viable. take vitamins? You could vitamins and meat. But in that case, but the, he's not talking about that. He was he was no supplements, only meat. So wait, he was taking weird brain supplements, but not vitamin C. So you know That's... <laughs> he was on antidepressants and antipsychotics, I think, because he's mentally ill. Which sure, that's no big deal, Jordan. Get, Maybe um, you're the mentally ill one. His wife passed away, and he was really struggling i think i don't quote me on this anyone and then him and his daughter were doing only me whoa, whoa, whoa. she claimed that one only his daughter is really hot her autoimmune disease yeah she is really hot but she's also it turns out that she's like a con artist and then she's dating like these other weird con artists <laughs> and these pickup <laughs> artist dudes in europe anyway so he stops taking his medication because she stopped taking her medication because the meat healed them right then he starts going crazy. Then they take him to Russia. He has a, a, an experimental thing done to him where some Russian guy's like, I heal you now. And then he has a, saw, a circular saw or something. So they lobotomized him. He fucked his brain up. He was in an induced coma. He got out of the coma. They were like, oh, my God, we got to keep eating meat or whatever. And then they took him to Serbia. She went to a Serbian nightclub with her pickup artist boyfriend. They're fucking women and robbing them or whatever. Cool. Then she goes home. She, she literally posts. <laughs> A snapchat that's like coronavirus never heard of her and then she breathes coronavirus into her dad's meat he eats it and then <laughs> and now he has coronavirus in a serbian hospital damn he's really going through it dude a fucked up week for him or month or year if he comes out of it though out of all of this he'll be such a cool guy Dude, do you think he'll be changed a changed man 
maybe his whole perspective on life he has some good the thing is the thing that's really dangerous about him that's not dangerous about ben shapiro because ben shapiro's like um my wife's pussy doesn't get wet we have to vote for trump like even though we hate him like he you're just like shut the fuck up ben but systematic racism isn't real i'm jewish look at me and you're just like okay ben you're fucking dumb but ben but uh jordan peterson has like real stuff said he's like if you're a lost young man and you there's no meaning left in your life you can look inwards and make your bed and maybe you'll feel better and he has like real advice but then in there is hidden weird stuff he's like well you've got to feel better about yourself have self-worth it's okay to love yourself also women aren't to be respected and you're like whoa where did that come from did wait he, did he say that no but he <laughs> says other weird shit that you're just like what are you saying communists want to fuck your wife you have to kill communists one that's true i do want to fuck your wife <laughs> communists are like i do dude that's i will fuck your wife no you won't <laughs> you I'm going, I'm capitalists I'm... watch out i will fuck your wife nope i'm gonna i'm gonna have a, a, a libertarian <laughs> no I don't barefoot fuck... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a barefoot libertarian sundress wearing jewish american princess i don't want to fuck a libertarian's With... wife <laughs> never never you can have her well one if she's if i'm truly living a libertarian dream she'll probably be 18 <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're right about i'll, I'll be like the way you laugh when you said it i'll be like 50 <laughs> <laughs> that's a libertarian dream teaching her how to clean my guns <laughs> do, do we do, uh, honey do we need driver's licenses no fuck the government just driving your your uninsured car hell yeah through the busy la streets firing a gun in the air i already have like four libertarian. kids <laughs> yeah good it for you it's truly the perfect system dude people oh <laughs> people message me often and they're like you should be a politician which i hate right yeah yeah i appreciate that people like they think that i could help but i just i think you I, do more damage than you i, do, I, than I you love help. a future where both of us are somehow politicians just fucking debating each other yeah yeah where you're the ultimate capitalist and i'm a communist and we're just ruining everything Speaking of communism and capitalism, why don't you become a part of our community and support <laughs> us by going to Patreon? No, fuck that. <laughs> Give us your money. The shit ain't free. <laughs> <laughs> Set us free, everybody. Um, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash cowboyboys. We're going to record a podcast after we eat Chinese food uh, tonight. Um, You've already decided. Yeah, yeah. Your, uh, your red state food. Hell yeah. And you supporting them with capitalism because they're being hit hard lately. Oh, yeah, that is true. I do. <laughs> that is a double whammy. I support... That, that China really... I think they're going to be the number one country because they're like, why don't we do both? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they're why really not, doing it. Why don't, we, why don't we fight on both? Like, let's... Fuck it. Let's do capitalism and communism. They really are. It's not. And they're doing both of them dangerously. Like, <laughs> dangerously like, well. Damn. No. Their communism is not good. Their, That's fascism. Their capitalism also no. isn't that good. No, doing... I know. That's why. I'm, they're kind of just doing whatever they want. That's the true dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, Patreon.com slash Cowboy Boys. Uh, we post a new episode every week. Uh, it's only $5, and you can get access to an episode. Everyone who supports us there truly means the world to us. Um, I forgot the password again, but I wrote it down. So I'll post uh, more silly photos and things of us that aren't just the episodes in there. Uh, so there's sometimes more than just episodes. But if you want a whole new episode every week, including the free one, patreon.com slash cowboyboys. My Twitch has been doing well. Twitch.tv slash shadozer. Please go see me on there. I have no stand-up dates planned right now because coronavirus but I'm on Twitch. Um, I, I'm going to try and post to YouTube more often. So there's YouTube if you look me up. I don't know. Mac, what are you up to? Nothing. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> just this. <laughs> I just wake up for this. I love you guys so much. You mean the world to me. Truly, uh, if you're listening to this, give us a good review maybe on oh, yeah. iTunes. Do whatever. Interact can, with us. Cowboyboys.rodeo is our website. There's stuff you can click on. You can email us. We try and respond to emails. I respond. I'm still at that point where I can respond to DMs. I'm not at Shane's level. Oh, it's too much, <laughs> where everybody. He gets, where he gets 
30 guys sending him pictures of his dick it's every like, morning. <laughs> dude, what email? I got a crazy email. I'll read it on the Patreon. I truly unhinged email that I got that I will read you on the Patreon. And I want, I, I need your opinion on it, Mac. All right. I didn't bring it up on this episode because it was too much. But, but it's a good teaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting us however you support us. It means the world. Uh, everyone stay safe. Take care of each other. Um, you deserve to be happy. What else? Don't don't fuck anyone with Neanderthal blood. Don't fuck anyone <laughs> with Neanderthal blood. <laughs> Fucking yeehaw, everybody. Yeehaw. Let's find out and see. Cardi B, you know where I'm at. You know where I be. You in the club, just to party. I'm there. I get paid a fee. I be in and out them bank so much. I know they're tired of me, but honestly, I don't give a bleep. About who ain't fond of me? Drop two mixtapes in six months. What? Bleep working as hard as me. Because I don't bother with these hoes. Don't let these hoes bother me. They say pictures, they say goals. Be I'm who they trying to be. Look, I might just chill in some bape. I might just chill with your boo. I might just feel on your babe. My bleep feel like a lake. You want to swim with his face. If you a bleep, you get popped. Uh, she, my bleep is glitter as gold.